Hi, it's Debbie Williams again and I'm going to talk about track three on my Stop Panic Attacks recordings. Now, this exercise, this NLP based exercise is one of the most powerful exercises um, to limit negative things or to change things in the brain. I use this as a one-to-one -one with pretty much most of my clients because it teaches me a lot when I'm asking them questions about the person so I know which way to go with it. Uh, variants of this exercise are modelled on how Gandhi would use his brain, also how Walt Disney would use his brain along with various other experts. But basically we're looking to pour in four or five positive states into this blockage that's almost like a jukebox presses this button and this panic attack plays over and over. And so we put the positive resources that we've got from the previous track and we put them into dilute down the old record. Now it may take a little bit of time to actually learn this exercise and hopefully in future I may actually get somebody to video me and I'll show you sort of how to walk through it. But I've had feedback from people who have done um, many of my recordings and they've worked out after a few listenings of what I'm talking about and you may need to use the pause button. Um, I get you to measure the state of the panic, suggesting that you work on something that bothers you 60% to begin with so that you build your confidence up in the exercise. It is worth persevering with this. As I said, you know, I've used this exercise over and over. In fact, I've actually taught it to thousands when I've done work with uh, Paul McKenna and Dr. Richard Bandler and I've been a trainer for them. If I've done a station for them where we're teaching various different things. It's one of my favourite exercises if I can get a chance to show people because it's very, very powerful um, to wipe out sort of negative things. As I said though, you know, you may not have full success straight away, um, but if you keep practising at it, know that you are chipping away at the old problem and it's not where you are now. If you think where you're heading in your life, where would you be five years from now if you didn't change? We're changing a few degrees here which doesn't seem much at first, but you know, six months down the line, a year down the line, you'll notice that if you keep on, that you will feel tremendously different and you can overcome this problem and to be much more calm and cool and confident in situations.